Good evening, this is BBC Radio 4, and now Rancid Rotten Idol reads part one of Chainsaw Disasters by Enid Blyton. The kids are playing at the front. The wife is in the kitchen. Grandpa's watching telly, and Grandma's doing the dishes. Hubby's out the back, tidying up the trees. He comes across and a really awkward bit, but his handsaw just won't do the job. So he makes his way to his garden shed. His wife calls him for lunch. Just a minute, my dear. Just one more branch to do. He takes the chainsaw from the box and checks it's ready to go. He takes it back to the tree and pulls the starter cord. It starts. He places the chainsaw on the tree. It's spinning like fuck. He jumps back at his throat. And it rips his fucking throat out. <gasps> his wife jumps back screaming from the kitchen. The chainsaw spins around. She reaches down to her dead husband. And it cuts her fucking tits off. The tits fly off and land in Grandma's dishes. What's this? shouts Grandma, who's pissed out of her head because she's a fucking alky. They must be my daughters. So she called Grandpa, who was having a wank over Samantha Fox on top of the fucking pops. Come in here, you old fucker, cried Grandma. Your daughter's tits have landed in your dishes. Quit put them in a fridge, I'll go into this. Anything worth left for tea. Grandpa went to f- find the children who were playing with the chainsaw. Put that down, you naughty children. You're wasting the petrol. Fuck off, your cunt. And they cut his fucking head off. And then they killed each other. <laughs> and that's the fucking end of it. Good night, idiot blight, and I love you.